Hello, today we've got another video for you about piercings because I got a new one, an industrial piercing. Um, I hope you can see from this distance. Um, I'll close up in a sec or put a photo here or something to show it from up close. Um, so yeah, I just got it pierced like a few hours ago and I thought it'd be fun to make a video of it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to talk about how it felt and aftercare, things like that. Um, here in the Netherlands most shops don't allow filming inside the piercing studio, so I don't have a video of it getting, you know, pierced. But um, yeah, I'll just make a video of um, everything else, of like... You know, what I said, aftercare and things like that, and how it felt and how much it hurts, because that's something people are usually curious about. So, I've just zoomed in for this part, so, um, yeah, this is the piercing, it's a two balls and a bar on top, it just goes from one side of the ear to the other, and yeah, so, um, yeah, it's basically a piercing from when I first saw it, I was like, oh my god, I want that too. And it took me a long time, and um, yeah, I finally got it done, so I'm really happy with it. Okay, then on to how much it hurt. Well, it was pretty um, interesting, I guess. I thought it would be like the same as my Helix, but then times two. Um, the outer one was, because that's basically Helix, and the front part, it really did hurt. And according to the piercer, it was like, it's like this part of the like border road, like the edge, edge, <laughs> the edge of the ear. This side of it is like thicker and harder than the outer side, so this side is usually hurts more. Um, so she started at the outer side because you know the needle gets shoved through more and more to get also get through the front part. So you know then the most pressure is going to be on the least painful part of the uh, piercing. So that's better. Um, so yeah, uh, I wouldn't like. You know, I wouldn't have let myself get stopped by the pain because honestly, if you want this piercing, then the pain is definitely worth it, and it's like. It's done in a few minutes. It's like it's not a piercing that takes a long time to pierce or anything. It's, I mean, it takes more time than just a single one, of course. But, you know, it's like in two minutes the needles come through and, you know, the jewelry is in there and it's, the ball is screwed on and you're done. So, yeah. Pain is different for everyone, of course. So, you know, for some people it might hurt more than it is for me. For some people it might hurt less than it is for me. Um, I'd say it was like five, four or five out of ten. It wasn't, it wasn't really that bad. But I have a feeling that, like, when it's getting pierced, it hurts more than you remember afterwards because then you're just really happy with the piercing. At least that it works that way for me. Um, so yeah, then on the aftercare. Um, well, for starters, they told me that I can't, as usually with any piercing, can't swim or sunbathe or take a bath. You can take a shower, by the way. <laughs> just to be clear. Um, and don't take a bath for like six weeks. And they also said to clean it twice per day with an antibacterial soap. Uh, personally, I prefer a sea salt solution. Which is a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt in a cup with boiling water and then just cool it, let it cool down a bit, just grab a cotton pad or anything and just put it over the piercing. Or you could get really like enthusiastic and just try to hang it upside down with your ear in the cup, but you know, I just don't feel like trying that, so I'll just use a cotton pad. Um, so yeah, personally at the beginning of the whole healing process, like the first two weeks or so, I clean it twice per day and then I just switch over to cleaning it once per day. It also kind of depends on how fast the piercing seems to heal. But you know, everyone's body is different, so just listen to your body. If you feel like you need to clean more often, then just do so. If you feel like your skin is getting too dry, you're drying, the pier drying out the piercing, then you can clean it less often. It's just, you know, a whole matter of what your own body seems to prefer. Other than that, just try not to touch it. Don't twist it around. It won't, like, grow, grow into the skin or whatever. It's, you know, it's metal. The skin won't go through it or anything. It won't get stuck or anything just don't dry it uh, don't um, don't twist it you get what I mean don't twist it is what I try to say um, just don't touch, touch it too often you might have like bacteria on your hands or even if you just clean your hands just try to leave it alone as much as possible and yeah what else is there to talk about um, the price um, here in the Netherlands I don't know how it is in other countries here in the Netherlands um, you know we don't give tips or anything with piercings they just ask you know, just, just have a certain price for it, and that's all the money to ask for, and that's all the money you're supposed to give. Um, so, I don't know how that is in other countries. Um, but yeah, this one was 50 euros, um, which is, you know, fair price, because it's technically like two piercings, but it's just one bar in it. So, it counts as one piercing, but it's actually two holes. So, I think that's a very good price. Um, so, yeah, that's basically all I have to say about the piercing for now. 
Oh, and as usual, I also went shopping because I can't get a piercing and then not go shopping afterwards because the piercing studio I go to, I always go to Queen of Rings in Rotterdam. And that's in the center of Rotterdam and there's lots of stores and shops there and things like that. And yeah, I just like shopping. Um, so I also bought three other stuff at a local drugstore. Um, a brush cleaner by Kruisvat, which is their own brand and it was only 3 euros, so couldn't let that pass. Um, so yeah, I'm trying it out right now. Already tried it out on this brush and so far so good. It's clean and it's not greasy or anything, so I like it. It's still drying a bit, but you know, once, it dry, uh, once it's dry, I expect it to be completely good again. Um, like, I still wash my brushes like uh, once per week with just normal shampoo. Well, very mild shampoo, but you know. Um, but you know, just for like through the week, when it's like a brush that I've used for really dark color and I just want to clean it quick and easy, then I can use this stuff. Um, so I'll probably review it on my blog, although for people who aren't in the Netherlands it won't be very useful because it's a Dutch drugstore and it's not sold outside the Netherlands. But yeah, in any case, I also bought two things of the new, um, well, when I'm filming this is new, the Catrice Check and Tweet collection. Um, it's the Eyebrow Fiction Gel. And Quattro Baked Eyeshadow. I picked the one with the green in it. There's also one with blue in it. So yeah, those will uh, come across in a tutorial too, and I'll also review them on my weblog. Um, so yeah. So yeah, that was basically all I have to say for now, I guess. Yep, can't think of anything else to say about the piercing. I will definitely film a video, um, you know, once there's something else to tell about this piercing. But the next piercing video will probably be of changing the nose piercing, because that will be healed in another two months. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, in any case, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Bye!